Mario and his friends are back, and so is Bowser, though his MO has changed slightly. This time the princess is in on the adventure, and there are various fairy folk to rescue. Despite the 3D in the title, this outing straddles the line of 2D and 3D Mario, like the DS game before it. Each level asks you to make it to the end and jump on a flagpole, but also to search out hidden green stars. They could be hidden in and out of sight locations or squirreled away by a rascally rabbit. The game's first world is filled to the brim with lots of Mario classic tropes. The flagpole invokes the original Mario, the rabbit is reminiscent of Mario 64, even the off-brand Super Mario Bros. 2 gets a nod, with each hero having certain attributes, like Peach's floaty jumps. You'll meet and squash familiar Goombas, make new friends like Plessy the dinosaur, and take trips to the clouds to pick up some coins. The big new thing is the cat suit. Expect lots of purrs and meows as heroes swipe at bad guys and claw their way to new heights. This kitty costume was easy to find in the first world, though we also got the fire flower and the classic supersized mushroom. Like Super Mario World, you can save a power up for later consumption. The world map has opened up, allowing you to venture off the beaten path. We found toad houses, roving football hooligans, and special toad levels where your perspective is a little different and the stars fall like rain. You'll need plenty of these shiny stars to unlock certain levels, including boss encounters where you can dish it out to Bowser. We've only scratched the surface, cat suit notwithstanding, and keep finding that Mario magic in spades. But can it consist? Check back next week for our full review. Thank you.